Hi everyone, I'm walking around my neighborhood. I'm trying to get at least two miles of walking today because I've been sitting all day. But I'm doing this video because I finally have something to show to show or share with you guys. It's my new paint by number, new start. So today is Wednesday, June the 2nd, 2021. And my name is Celia and welcome to Simply Silly. I'm sorry guys if my hair is not I haven't combed my hair but I just came back from my walk it was so good and now I'm ready to show you the paint paint number that I've mentioned a while ago I bought it from another company and this is also considered a product review so here it is so the paint by number is from Winnie's Picks. So they they delivered this um, pro product, this project in this tubular thing, just like the masterpiece by numbers. And I really like it because it protected the, the kit inside. So this one is very colorful. So if you look at that and they've printed the design here on the on this storage like this can be your storage when you're done with your painting and i really like it so yeah this is from Venus Venus pigs is that how you say it but this is what it is and this is from actually from the united states so they delivered this it got this um so quick so fast i don't remember how many days probably three days probably a week but yeah it's fast maybe a week so this is the design it is called the Temple Temple Bar, and the artwork is from Marilyn Dunlop. I know Dunlop. I don't wanna mention names because I might, you know, pronounce it incorrectly. But this is the design that I've picked, and it's so red. So I really like how it's the same with the masterpiece by numbers, but this one is a little bit smaller. I'm sorry for those things if kids are like driving their dirt bikes around the neighborhood and it's just so noisy but I'm outside because I like the natural light so and then it came with the canvas rolled canvas and also it came with this piece of paper the reference guide and this is very 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 useful don't lose this one I always have this beside me when I do, I do my paint by numbers. And then it also came with wait, with this is with this piece of paper. This is the designer, the artist. Marilyn has a passion for art and history and loves to paint street views and landscapes from her travels to Europe. So this is the artist they've provided the artist picture the artist name and also her designs the bottom this is really a uh, masterpiece by number don't have this kind of thing so winnie picks winnie's picks have this and it's very nice very nice so when i'm home my plan is when i'm done with my paint by number i will include this information and attach at the back of the finished project because this is an extra information and it's nice also this, they've included a printed picture of the, you know, the artwork. And the size I picked is 15 by 20 inches. And it says the difficulty, which is two circles. Uh, I think that means it's intermediate, I guess. So maybe one is beginners, like intermediate, and then expert experience. I don't know. But yes, they included that and also they've included um, instructions or uh, welcome from Winnie's Picks and this is actually nice. It will tell you the instructions, uh, the contact details and then it says send us your picture to try winning $100 worth of paint by numbers so they'll pick each month they will pick a lucky participant so i really wanted to do that i think they want you to um 
sent the pictures to the email deck. This is really nice. I really like this. I have never read this, but I really want to participate. And then, of course, they, it came with... I've already paint, painted the project, so it came with all of this painting pots. It's numbered, already pre-mixed. So it's very easy. You didn't have to mix it. And it also came with hanging the hardware to hang the project and um, and it also came with three I think it's three three brushes I'm not sure maybe four maybe there are four I'm not really sure but um, this is all I found I don't really use these brushes but the nice thing about their brushes is the handle is wood I like it better than the plastic and it's a little bit like chubby, chubby, chubby or wider so it's not it's really nice to hold it's a wooden kind of handle i really like it so i think i've used one of these brushes like i have so many brushes so sometimes i use this and i like the wood handle versus the plastic ones because i can it's not slippery i can hold it nice so yeah these are the brushes that came with the kit and of course the canvas so I've already put the canvas on a, um, I purchased the the can, canvas thing, this one. I purchased this from Walmart. I make sure that uh, it's a little bit bigger than, than the artwork. So I think this one is 16 by 20 and the artwork is 15 by 20, I guess. I think, I think. So I've, what I did is I folded, I used the tacks. We call it in the Philippines thumb tacks because you press it with your thumb, but that's what I use. So I, this is the original. I did not, I did not remove the canvas from the Walmart thing. As you can see, it's stapled here. I just pull the, pro, I just put the fabric or the canvas over it and then fold it and use the thumb tacks or the tacks or something to secure the canvas. So as you can see, I have put several. And then here's the design. And here's my progress, guys. This is seven days worth of progress. Like I'm, I did this during my staycation. I was sick, sick. I was sick. I was in the hospital for seven days. And after I got out from the hospital, I need to rest and to recover, recuperate for another week. So during that, those days, I stayed in my boyfriend's place and did painting only so this is worth of six days but it spends so much time every day to paint aside from cross stitching there are days that i'll just focus on painting because i don't want to think all i did was just paint and paint is a very good therapy for me also i could not walk because i had a swollen left foot so all i did was just sit down and paint and paint so far I've made so much progress. So I started here and then worked here, then down here, and then worked on this side, and then I worked on the bottom part. This is not completely done. I have to go back and put another layer of paint, especially on the dark ones, as you can see. I don't know if it's because of the paint quality. The paint, their paint is really nice. It's thick, but sometimes the problem with me, maybe it's how I paint it, or maybe I used the wrong brush, or it's the paint I can I'm not really sure of but as you can see it's not really covered well you can see the white spots the canvas whites there it's not when it it when I painted it it looks like I, I've covered everything but when it dried um, this ugly thing shows up like a little bit of white spots showing up so yeah I have my plan is to paint everything first and then I had with the help of the guy, that's why it's very important to have this guy. I have to repaint to put another layer on those paintings that shows some white spots on it. And then make sure I have, I have to paint first in case I don't want to run out of paints. That's why I have to put my first layer of paint first before I go back to paint another layer on those um, area that needed another layer of paints so yes this is it guys this is what i've done so far and it's really nice so 
so far it's I like to buy another um, kit from Rina's picks I like her paints really it's the same thing with masterpiece by numbers they're nice quality uh, before I I actually forgot I put gesso is that how you say it? gesso on this on the surface before I started painting on this because when I got the canvas um, the lines these lines are very like it's a little bit darker it's not so light not dark dark but it's not so light so I painted I put gesso on it and let it dry for 24 hours before I started painting color paints on it on this one so the gesso actually covers a little bit of the lines and um, it helped but actually I saw one video from on YouTube about in someone who's also doing um, paint by numbers and who is also an artist that she suggested to always uh, prime or put gesso on every paint by numbers because it will help on something I just forgot and I really like it with gesso on it. but yes this is it this is my my paint by number project that I've started on Monday why when is Monday I don't know I don't know but and then so this is seven days worth of progress and when it is done I think I will just keep it this way I would love to have find a little bit smaller canvas smaller like this if I could find one then I will transfer so that I don't have to worry about these white edges I want to uh, wrap this around into a smaller frame if I can find one but so far this is good I really like it it is a rolled canvas so you don't, I did not have to iron it and I like the red colors and it's making making some progress so that's it guys Rinis, Rinis Picks if you're interested go to the website I will try to put the link on the website there I am not sponsored by this by this company I just want to try their products and I like it and I have actually six um, kits on my cart on the website because I wanted to do more about this theme from the same from the same I think from the same artist yes from the same artist I want to have at least three so I can display same same um, size same theme like front of a store or a restaurant yes so the temple temple bar by Marilyn D. I was just say Marilyn D. Uh, um, Winnie's Picks website. Thank you guys for watching. If you would like to see more, um, please subscribe to my channel. I am really planning to do more videos, um, regularly videos right now because I'm not going back to studies. I only focus on my work and cleaning the house and get back and be healthy and I have more time. Thank you so much please don't forget to hit like subscribe to my channel and leave your comments and ask questions if you have questions thanks for watching bye